So while NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams aboard Boeing Starliner are not technically stranded on the International Space Station, the ISS, they kind of are. Their mission has been significantly extended due to mechanical issues with the spacecraft, which was originally planned as a 10-day mission. They have now been in space for nearly two months. So... The Boeing Starliner a spacecraft has experienced several problems, including thruster failures and helium leaks, which delayed their planned return. Now, NASA has confirmed that Wilmore and Williams are safe and that the ISS has ample supplies to support them. The astronauts are integrated with the Expedition 71 crew and are contributing to station operations and scientific research. So they're, they're doing stuff while they're up there. In case of an emergency, Supposedly, the Starliner is ready to undock and return the astronauts to Earth. So, now this is a bad look for Boeing, who has already had, wow, a lot of problems with aircraft, um, safety issues, safety concerns, that kind of thing, engineering stuff. So, uh, I mean, at this time there's no set date for the astronauts' return. NASA and Boeing are taking a, a cautious approach, ensuring all the issues are thoroughly understood and resolved before scheduling their return. The Boeing Starliner experienced several issues on the trip up to the ISS. There were overheating issues where the thrusters um, tend to overheat when fired repeatedly or for extended periods, um, thruster malfunctions, um, the Teflon seal degradation as a kind of result of the overheating caused by the thrusters, and then helium leaks, which happened during the initial journey and they're still being investigated. So there's a, a bunch of stuff going on. NASA wanted there to be two vehicles for this kind of mission, where you're resupplying the ISS, that kind of thing. So we have the SpaceX uh, Crew Dragon and the Boeing Starliner. There's, these are both a part of NASA's commercial crew program. So the SpaceX has up till now had a better record. They've completed 11 crewed missions to ISS so far, three for NASA and three for Axiom Space. Um, and that is always a backup to the Starliner in case something really goes badly. The Starliner and the Crew Dragon are similar in some ways, they're similar size, they're about 13 to 15 feet in diameter. They can both carry up to seven astronauts and remain docked to the ISS for up to seven months. They use solar cells or solar panels. Starliner is designed to soft land in the desert, and the Dragon X splashes down in the ocean under, under parachute. But they have similar functionality and the fact that the Dragon has had more successful missions, um, Boeing was hoping to make that up by having some successful missions here with the, the Starliner, which unfortunately hasn't started off very well. So what, what do we need, what are we looking at in the future? So engineers at NASA and Boeing are conducting ground tests on the Starliner's thrusters to try and diagnose and resolve the issue. Um, there's no set date for the astronaut's return. And NASA and Boeing are being, you know, kind of cautious. So it's important to note that while the situation is obviously not ideal, they're not technically stranded, as I said before. Then, but they're not, and neither are they in any immediate danger. And um, they're helping to do ISS stuff while they're up there. So hopefully, we'll get this resolved quickly and get them back to Earth, which would be nice. Uh, space exploration is fraught with this kind of thing, and I'm. I hate, I hate to say it this way, but I'm almost shocked that we haven't had more you know, loss of life in the space program. We've had quite a bit, but considering what they're doing, it's actually remarkable that we haven't seen more horrible events happen. So this is just a bump in the road. Hopefully they'll get the Starliner back in gear, and NASA will have an actual viable two different vehicles to go back and forth with uh, as needed going forward. Let's hope. Hey, thanks for watching. Links below as usual. Take care.